Today, I'm gonna to do something that I should have done a long time ago, get my mower maintenance. Hello, this is Kathleen at My Alabama Farm Life and welcome to my video. Well, as usual, I've waited until my mower has broken down to get it fixed. I should have done this in early spring or late fall and that was get my mower maintenanced. We've had it for almost a year and a half and it needs an oil change new filters and all that good stuff, but mostly I need a new belt. My uh, mower quit working the other day, um, and then we realized that it was the belt. The belt was stretched out of the shape. It was um, smoking and making a really awful rubber smell. So I loaded up my uh, mower into my trailer and took it down to the service center. And I tell you what, guys, I, I pride myself on trying to do a lot of things by myself, but it would have taken me days to do what it took these guys just a couple of hours to do. I dropped it off about 8.30, and by noon they called me, and I was back to the shop picking it up in my trailer. So now it's time to get it out of the trailer, and uh, I actually think I did a pretty good job. I have to remember that slow and easy... Uh, wins this race for sure. There are two wires that hold the ramp up and make it easy to pick up and bring down. And I definitely do not want to run into those wires and get tangled up in it. That would be just an absolute pain. I uh, did a pretty good job backing out, but I did back into my tripod, but not too bad. At least I didn't knock it over. Guys, I really have to say that I love this mower. This is my MZ Magnum Bad Boy mower, and it is 54 inches. I think the only thing that I'm disappointed in is the fact that it doesn't have a hitch. But uh, I took care of that problem. I went ahead and ordered one and uh, today we're going to get it installed. I went ahead and ordered a Glim Sam hitch. It's a generic hitch that I got off of Amazon and it says that it fits the bad boy mower. So this one came with four screws but it looks like I'm just going to need two of the shorter ones. Now this was a really easy install. I'm simply gonna go ahead and just put the bolts into the hitch and uh, slide it through the holes that uh, are available on the back of my bad boy. And uh, then I'm going to get the nuts and then I'm gonna screw it in. But um, you have to be really careful with this part. Don't install this if your mower is hot. There is a radiator right behind this area and if it's hot, there's a really good chance that you can burn yourself. Now the space behind the radiator is pretty tight, but I was able to put my hand down there and get the bolts on. Um, I have to warn you again that if it is hot, you will definitely burn your hand on that radiator. So wait till it cools down. Um, so I'm just hand tightening the bolts right now. Um, for as tight as I can. And now I'm gonna pull out my little wrench and I'm gonna tighten it as tight as I can. This install was pretty easy.
All right, I have both sides screwed in. They're fairly tight. And now I'm gonna go get my Gorilla Cart and I'm gonna attach it to my mower. I am really loving this. I'm looking forward to having that cart with me when I'm doing garden work. The Gorilla Cart is actually designed to be pulled by your lawn mower or small tractor. And uh, this is what the hitch is for. So that I can pull around my Gorilla Cart so that I can carry my weed eaters with me or I can haul trash around and take it out to where it needs to go. So there you go, the pins are in and it is ready to head out and maybe get some work done. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you again for everyone who supports my channels. You guys have a blessed and joyous day, and I will see you on my next video.